My name's Neil Gladstone, and these are my friends. <laughs> At least, I think they're my friends. You can't tell in the music business, you know. Uh, we come from the Philomath, Oregon area. Surprising, really, how many recording artists come from the Philomath area. I can't think of any offhand, but uh, take my word for it. Uh, if you don't recognize any of these songs that you're, you hear tonight, uh, don't be surprised. No one else does either. It's what we call original music. And by that I mean music that no one ever made any money on. Uh, here's a song I think everyone can relate to. Also, could we have a little less piano, uh, piano through the monitors? We, we, we overdid that a little bit. Small adjustment here. You're a practical man With your feet firmly on the earth You're the kind of man Who says that love's more trouble Than it's worth But one day you meet Sweet young thing A little kiss and a walk in the rain You can go or stay But either way You're gonna 
have some pain. Yeah, pain, pain, pain. Everybody knows it by name. It's the final verse, the ancient curse, the way to the end of the chain. Pain, pain, pain. It's enough to drive a body insane, but it's the price of life. So why should I complain? You're a hard-working man. Uncle passes away. Now you don't want to blow your newfound dough, so you hire a CPA. He was poor before, but at least you could sleep. Now you worry about that capital gain. The market falls, your broker calls. You're gonna have some pain. Yeah, pain, pain, pain. Everybody knows it by name. It's the final verse. Bacterias feed on you. You're a family man. Just trying to do what's right. But you lose your job, get a little drunk, and you stay out late one night. Your wife decides to leave you, and your dog eats an ounce of cocaine. It's not your day, what can I say? You're gonna have some pain. This is one song where I actually feel like I am accompanying the guitars. It's called The One I Love. Like a bubble in a fountain, oh, you could 
be the one to fill my nights with laughter And you could sparkle like the stars above You could be here now and gone the moment after But you could be the one I love Sunset on a mountain, like a whippoorwill on a windowsill, like a bubble in a fountain. Oh, you could be the one to fill my nights with laughter, and you could sparkle like the stars above. You could be here now and gone the moment after. Your taste is, you sure taste good to us. 
And now a word from our sponsor. prejudiced against prunes? Perhaps you don't appreciate them properly. Did you know that prunes are packed with potassium? Prunes are perfect for preserves, compote, or pastry. They add pizzazz to a party or perk up a simple repast. You'll be pleasantly surprised how pleased your people will be when prunes appear in your pantry. You can depend on prunes for the pep to live up to your potential. Remember, the prudent prefer prunes. Stay in tune, stay in tune, stay in tune with Now we got that straightened out.
this is a song that was written about two years ago and uh, like a lot of Neil's songs there's a lot of his songs that are comedy oriented and some that show other facets of his writing and uh, this is a song about what happens when we <coughs> are feeling so much pain that we shut down it's called dark blue <laughs> Perkins on vocals. Howdy, folks. Howdy. My name's Neil Lasso Gladstone. My, my friends call me Lasso. Sometimes people say, hey, where'd you get that name anyhow? Well, I'll tell you. One time I ran into this guy's pickup with my pickup. He jumps out and yells, hey, Lasso! <laughs> Kinda liked it. 
had a nice ring to it. People been calling me that ever since. Now, we'd like to do a tune here. Got us nominated for Country Singer of the Year. Unfortunately, they haven't told me which country yet. I'd like to introduce the country band now by me, Mr. Fred Digis Child on piano. Fred Child. And a couple little gals certainly have made my bit made bleh, <laughs> certainly have made my life worth living. Audrey Lynn Perkins and Barbara Ann Gladstone. Let's bring them out here, folks. <laughs> These gals have been lifting weights, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, this is country music. Here we go. A one, two, three.
clearly not the world's greatest lover. I never had much charm or savoir faire. And I don't have the wealth of a Rockefeller. But when it comes to romance, I'm the richest man around. I have a reputation with the ladies in this town. Sometimes people ask me for the secret that I found. How do I make those young hearts skip a beat? neat. I sleep neat, I sleep neat, from my head down to my feet. I have that sense of confidence when I slide onto the sheet. When it comes to bedroom etiquette, my training is complete. That's all there is to it, I sleep neat. Now most men misdirect their concentration. They try so hard but always seem to fail. I can, of course, relate to their frustration. Because nothing cools a love life like a midnight tug of war. When you wake up cold and crabby like you did the night before, with the sheet around your shoulder and the blankets on the floor, wise up, boys, and give those gals a treat. Sleep neat. I sleep neat. He sleeps neat, he sleeps neat, from his head down to his feet. Now everyone who seeks a romantic pleasure, there's just one thing you really need to know. Get your couché discipline together. Now a simple silk pajama is essential for good taste. A twin-controlled electric is a must in every case. A double bed is adequate and a larger is a waste. And matching spread and curtain would be sweet. And sleep neat. I sleep neat. He sleeps neat, he sleeps neat, from his head down to his feet. He has that sense of confidence when he slides onto the sheet. When it comes to bedroom etiquette, his training is complete. That's all there is to it. He sleeps neat. I sleep neat. He sleeps neat. I sleep neat. He sleeps neat. He sleeps neat. From his head down to his feet. I do. He has that sense of confidence when he slides onto the sheet. It's true. When it comes to bedroom etiquette, his training is complete. That's all there is to it. I sleep neat. He sleeps neat. I do. I sleep neat. He sleeps neat. What can I say? He sleeps neat. He sleeps neat. Thank you very much. Oh, good heavens, my collar is up. And now, darlings. We're going to take a brief intermission, give you an opportunity to freshen up and buy my tapes, which are for sale. In addition to my tapes, we now carry a complete line of t-shirts for those of you with nocturnal difficulties. And for the more adventuresome among you, matching briefs. <laughs> we call this our Man on the Go collection. And Frederick will be modeling these at intermission. Frederick. Thank you. We'll see you in about 15 minutes.
Alright, turn it over. And keep it tight too because it's you ready? Yes. My mic always gets shorter. The Well, here we are again. Yay! <laughs> Who is this guy? Give him a free pair of shorts. Eh? to tell you a little bit about the guitar I'm playing this evening. This is a rare pre-war quadruple O 97 with a higbone bridge garbanzo wood top and avocado inlay. Very unusual. The reason this particular model is so rare is that most of them have been 
eaten. Can we have a little more piano? depress you again. It's my job. Um, I first heard this song. It was actually the first song of Neil's that I heard about uh, seven years ago. And I remember sitting on the couch and sobbing. And um, a few years later when I started singing with him and he asked me if I would sing it, uh, I felt real honored because it's a song from a songwriter's perspective. And uh, I've been honored to do it ever since. It's called Melody.
Ever wonder what your cat is thinking? <laughs> You're close. I used to wonder that. Then I started reading my cat's mail. It's amazing what you can find out when you read your cat's mail. This next song is actually a letter that was written to our cat by his Aunt Fifi.
really is a pity. We took in a movie by Fellini. Up at Cannes, it made the critics rave. I thought the plot was good, but not worth that howling. Tom says he's not into new wave. I guess that's all the news that is amusing. When your dog goes, do your friends go? If so, Fido is probably suffering from Exhalus obnoctus, better known as bad doggy breath. What he needs is Stench Away, the new doggy breath deodorant from Johnson's Wax. Stench Away is powerful and effective. Just two squirts, and your dog's breath will smell fresh as a daisy. And Stench Away lasts for days, even weeks, if applied in large enough quantities. Stench Away contains hydroguanolithamine, the strongest stink inhibitor you can buy without a prescription. When your dog has the Stench Away smile, he will act as your personal olfactory ambassador, filling house, garden, and neighborhood with fresh, clean scent. So the next time your dog goes, <laughs> your friends will go, <sighs> stench away for dogs, new from Johnson's Wax. If animal develops tongue rot, nose bleed, or begins to eat furniture, discontinue use and consult your veterinarian. Fred is the kind of the unsung hero in this band. He's the guy who plays everything, you know. And he's a, he's a heck of a tennis player too. And to, I guess today he's decided to play a, a guitar uh, solo for you. But he plays. I mean it. You name it, he plays. It. Uh, he's one of the most talented people I've ever had the pleasure to work with. Would you welcome Fred Child doing one of his own compositions? Thanks. I'm going to play a piece that's, uh, it's actually a guitar duet. Uh, I'm going to do my best to squeeze both parts onto one guitar. Uh, this is called Evergreen Five Step.
Well, I guess I don't need to introduce this man. You know that this is Neil Gladstone. made me a sandwich with lots of raspberry jam I thanked her most profusely cause that's the kind of guy I am well I took a bite and munched it down I rolled a soggy water around I really dug the crunching sound and when I was done I said hun I got a seed in my teeth and I just can't get it out of there. Try as I might, it's in so tight, but no matter what I do, it's stuck like glue. Yes, indeed. I got a seed in my teeth. Well, I looked into the mirror and I gave myself a scare. That seed was jammed up tighter than a rock star's underwear. Well. I picked and tongued and brushed and cleaned with dental floss and Listerine with spick and span and Mr. Clean and when I was done I said, hun, I got a seed in my teeth, I just can't get it out of there, try as I might, it's in so tight, but no matter what I do, it's stuck like glue, yes indeed, I got a seed in my teeth, well, well. I went to see the dentist man and told him what was wrong. He pulled a giant needle out 15 inches long. Well, first he yanked my jaws apart. I screamed like hell, I bit him hard. He asked me for my master card and when he was done, he said, son, you got a seed in your teeth and I just can't get it out of there. Try as I might, it's in so tight, no matter what I do, it's stuck like glue. Yes, indeed, I got a seed in my teeth. Well, well, I flew right down to Trinidad to see a gypsy woman. My Uncle Deke, he told me there, this kind of thing is common. Well, she made me drink a stinky brew, a camel ball of lizard poo. My hair fell out, my tongue turned blue, and when I was done, she said, Mun, you got a seed in your teeth, and I just can't get it out of there. Try thy might, it's in so tight, no matter what I do, stuck like glue. Yes, indeed, you got a seed in your teeth. Well. I lost weight, got depressed, it was quite alarming, and then one day my Uncle Deke said, boy, you should take up farming, well, I filled my cheeks with corn and rice, it grew like mad to my surprise, I never had to fertilize, and I cross pollinize while I'm kissing. And I got a seed in my teeth, and I just can't get it out of there. Try as I might, it's in so tight, no matter what I do, it's stuck like glue. Yes, indeed, I got a seed in my teeth. Well, thank you.
I'm going to do a song that wasn't written by Neil. It's just sort of a tradition to do one song by another writer. Kind of puts his writing in context a little bit. Sometimes it's easy to take a writer for granted and you just assume that the music is just there, but I really appreciate Neil's writing. This is a song by Joan Armitrading. She's from Britain and it's called The Weakness in Me. notice what you're wearing now if you want sophisticated girls to look at you you'd better try to dress a bit more daring 
Now white is all right, and gray is okay. But if you want those pretty city chicks to swoon, gotta step out of those blues, get yourself into some different hues, slip into some cool maroon. This chick's astounding When he chased her up that hill He thought he was in for a thrill And heaven knows his little heart was pounding But she was not impressed, uh-uh She didn't dig the way he dressed That romance flopped and she popped his balloon yeah. Now Jackie boy struck out Between you and me there is no doubt He should have dressed in Do your talking for you Now the Ruskies and the Yanks They've really had their ups and downs And everybody wants negotiations now That tete-a-tete -tete in Reykjavik Was wasted on those clowns They blew their chance to smooth out our relations Say, why don't they get hip and Drop this crazy ego trip If you want those Muscovites to change their tune dress like this ordinarily okay we're gonna do one more song for you everybody and I'd like to uh, say a few thank yous here this has been a terrific experience for us it has for me the weather's beautiful the audience is beautiful who could ask for more you know it's really great I'd like to uh, thank Linda Mullen who's not here but I'd like to thank her anyway and uh, Vancouver Parks and Rec for having us I'd like to thank Van Fed for supporting this effort. It's a beautiful park you have here and wonderful event. So thank you very much to you people. And if there's anyone I forgot. And is this, what's the name of the sound crew? What would you? Mobile Event Systems. A terrific job. Let's have a hand for them. Terrific job. And a 
course. Columbia Videos, eh? Columbia Cable, Columbia Cable. We have this on cable, folks. This is great, thank you. You know, some people love gold. Some people love chocolate. Some people love skiing. I love Chrysler automotive products. I had, I had my first date in a Dodge Dart. I had my first accident in a Dodge Dart. Not necessarily related. And I got my first ticket in a Dodge Dart. Now these are events in one's life you don't soon forget. I'd like to do a song now about my favorite vehicle of all time.
thank you. Wow, that's great. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce the members of the band, too, in case you don't know who they are. Friends. This is Barbara Gladstone on my far right. <laughs> Kitty and wife. <laughs> and this is Audrey Perkins, my dear friend Audrey. And of course, the inimitable Fred Child on people. Here's a song for you. Thank you. 
everybody. Thank you very much. Columbia Cable Access Studio? What? Now you see it.